Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Spelunky HD. Last time we managed to get to Olmec, but we did not uh, go any further than Olmec because I mistimed the jump and I ended up uh, killing myself with my own bomb, which was quite dumb, but uh, it, it's ultimately what happened. So I'm not proud of it, but... Uh, you know, stuff like that happens from time to time. There's nothing I can do about it. Outside of just not being a fucking idiot, I guess. But, uh, you know, you can't change uh, perfection, you know. I'm just the way that my mama made me. Let's, uh, let's have some fun, shall we? Come on, little batty. Let's kill that giant spider for its paste, so that we can uh, extract its paste and have our uh, sticky bombs up. Because sticky bombs make the world a better place. Let's grab the damsel so that she can give us an extra heart if we bring her to the uh, exit of the level. And use her as a, as a projectile in the meantime. It doesn't matter, she doesn't take damage when I throw her, so that's fine. Nothing over there. There's a shop down there and I want to visit that shop because it has a, a lot of passive items. So uh, let's buy pretty much everything that's in this shop. The spike shoes will be useful for us later on in the ice caves if we, we will manage to survive that long. Let's move on. Let's be careful about what we're going to do because there's a fucking scorpion down there. Oh my god, fuck you! Well, we might as well visit this area since it's been unlocked to us. Although there's a, an arrow trap over there and I really don't want to mess with that. There's another scorpion right over there. That was easy, let's move on. And we're almost at the end of the mines again. We did not get the Ujerai just yet, so I'm expecting for the Ujerai to be somewhere on this level. Honestly. Yep, there's the key for the Ujerai right over there. So let's uh, see if we can grab that key. Let's leave the damsel to walk by her lone self in that direction. Hopefully she will, she won't fall, uh, fall on some spikes or anything. There we go. Using our key as a projectile right now. God damn it, the fucking bad man. Die, you motherfucker, die! Is the damsel still okay? Yeah, she's fine. We can buy a... Uh... Oh, there's the Ujirai. We can buy a shotgun in that shop, but do we want to? I don't know if we do. Come on, fall down. Solve that arrow for me, will you? So now that we got the Ujerai, we can see all the rocks, in, all the gems inside the ground, which is quite nice. But uh, it's not our main concern right now. Basically, I always get the Ujerai just so that I can find the entrance to the black market in the jungle. Let's buy the mystery box instead. Okay, so the mystery box contained the web gun, and the web gun is a pretty shitty item, all things considered, so that was a waste of money. What the web gun does is that it allows you to shoot cobwebs yeah, at a short distance from you, 
which is not that great the cobwebs don't damage enemies it just slows them down and makes them stick to it mm. yeah that damsel is not worth the hassle we'll just leave him behind fuck you monkey you're not stealing anything from me this time Where is the exit? Oh my god, fuck that guy. There we go. That should deal with it. Thank god for sticky uh, for paste, right? Oh, there's a crate over there and I wanna see what's in it. Filled in a in surrounded by piranhas everywhere, but we'll just empty that pond and there we go. Much better. Let's bring this idol to the exit for extra money and uh, yeah, let's just get the fuck out of here. There we go. Let's take this guy's a boomerang as well because we he is already dead. So who's going to use it? That that will be us, obviously. That was a dangerous jump. Oh, the entrance to the black market is somewhere on this level. I heard the wood I blink. Now where on this level I won't be able to tell you for sure. We'll have to find that out ourselves. I think it's downwards, so let's uh, let's head downwards. Yeah, it's over here. And there are a bunch of bombs down there with the shopkeeper, so I definitely want to visit the shopkeeper on this level. Let's grab as much money as we can so that we, we will be able to afford all those bombs. And let's try to visit the shopkeeper before go visiting the black market. Actually, do we want to visit the black market given that um, after buying all those bombs from the shopkeeper, we, we most likely will end up with almost zero money. There's almost no way we'll be able to afford anything afterwards on the black market. So we might as well not even go to the black market in the first place. But well, let's see how much money we'll, we'll be left with after we purchase all these delicious looking bombs. So two bomb boxes, one bomb bag. We're left, we're left with $8,025. You know what? I think that's enough to justify going to the black market. If nothing else, we might be able to afford a really cheap item like a compass or something. Which is nothing to scoff at. Like even the cheapest items in this game have their uh, functionality. Oh shit, I just took damage like an idiot. Let's go, go inside. So this is the black market and it has... Oh, why do you tempt me so much? It has the fucking jetpack, which is at $30,000. I so want the jetpack. It's one of the best items in this game, if not the best item in the game. Why do I fucking hate myself? Can we get to $30,000 on this run? I don't think that we can. But we might as well try, honestly. Maybe, maybe a miracle will happen, we shall see. Yeah, it doesn't look very likely. Oh, fuck you, just die. Why the fuck did you have to spawn on the fucking tiki trap? Oh my god. And we're not yet at the point where we can call it a single video, so I'm restarting. This is going to be a wrong uh, video. So uh, we died because of a goddamn tiki trap, but uh, I guess I never should have gone to the black market given how little money I had. But no, you know what? Screw that. I think I was justified to go. I fuck you. Jesus Christ, kill it already. I I I I genuinely think like I could have uh, 
uh, I could have bought a compass if I really wanted to. I had the money too, so I would have been able to buy something with that money. And had I been able to buy anything, my decision to go to the black market would have been justified. So I think that's worth it. Oh, the freeze ray. Is the freeze ray that good? I don't think it is. It's got its uses, but uh, it's not that great, honestly. Let's move on. Like, I'll stick with the freeze ray, but the moment I'll be able to exchange it for something better, I will take that opportunity. Wait a second, let me plug my uh, phone in because it's getting a bit, uh, a bit low on its charge. There we go. So yeah, let's, uh, you know what, let's have some fun. Haha, uh -huh, I made you move. Fuck you. Yeah, that, that made sense. I had the freeze ray. I said I, w I don't want to trip to piss off shopkeepers anymore. But I'm feeling in a funky move today. So I said I might as well do something a bit different. I knew I couldn't afford any of the items in that guy's shop because I had very little money on me. So I said, you know what, I might as well steal all of them. So from this point in the game till the rest of this run, all the shopkeepers will be angry with me, I won't be able to purchase things legally from the shop, and I will also, uh, there will also be shopkeepers at the exit of every single exit from this point on. So that's going to suck. But you know what, we might as well have some fun, right? Like, what's life if there won't be any fun? So let's, uh, let's do this properly. Fuck you. With this shotgun, we'll be able to do a lot of bullshit. There's the damsel, but I'm not interested in the damsel right now. Having extra health is always nice, but uh, I already have to carry the, the shotgun with me to be able to defend myself from rabid shopkeepers. So, uh, since you can only hold one thing at a time, it would be either the damsel or the shotgun. Or just pick one and return afterwards for the other. Which I really don't want to do. Oh, so the Ujira is on this level. Okay, so there's the f bastard waiting for us. Let's just, let's do is this the classic style. Hello, motherfucker! Oh shit, he shot me. Well, I tried. <laughs> I don't know what, what what was wrong with my brain there. I said I, 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 I might as well make it fun and I wanted to do it in a dual style, but uh, whatever. We didn't make, get to make that much progress this video, so it doesn't really matter that much. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to get in touch with me, I have a Mastodon account as well as a Matrix room that you can join. Details of which you can find in the description of this video. And in the meantime, see you next time.